on Monday, October 6th. It appears that the court case between Philip J. Berg and Barack Obama is heating up a bit. Philip Berg filed an amended complaint with the court on Monday, and that amended complaint adds the Pennsylvania Department of State, the Secretary of the Commonwealth, Pedro A. Cortez, in his official capacity, and the U.S. Senate Committee on Rules and Administration and Senator Dianne Feinstein in her official capacity as chairman for that committee for their failure to exercise due diligence with respect to Barack Obama's constitutional qualifications to be elected and serve as President of the United States, and also for his inclusion on the ballot in Pennsylvania as a candidate for the President of the United States. The amended complaint also has other additional items that bolster the original standing argument in the case, and it adds additional relevant facts. Essentially, the argument comes down to this, that Senator Barack Obama could put this whole issue to rest if he would simply present his official birth records to the court. But Barack Obama has chosen not to do that. And as I mentioned in my previous videos, he has hired lawyers along with the DNC, and they have moved to have this case dismissed, claiming that the court has no jurisdiction in the matter, and that Philip Berg, as a citizen of the United States, has no legal standing to question whether or not Barack Obama is a citizen of the United States. This is what the DNC and Barack Obama are telling us, that no citizen of the United States has a right to know whether or not he is a natural born citizen of this country. This could all be resolved, like I say, if Barack Obama would simply present his certified birth records to the court rather than putting a certification of live birth online and having website operators telling us that this is a valid certificate. Now as part of the original complaint, Philip J. Berg also asked the court if they would do an expedited discovery, if they would have Barack Obama and Howard Dean as representative of the Democratic National Committee sit down and show the documents that they went through and show how they vetted Barack Obama, actually show the documents that they went through to prove that Barack Obama is qualified to be President of the United States. Yesterday, lawyers for the DNC and for Barack Obama filed additional papers, and those additional papers titled A Brief of Defendant Democratic National Committee and Defendant Senator Barack Obama in Support of Motion for Protective Order, Staying Discovery Pending Decision on Dispositive Motion. In other words, the DNC and Barack Obama are now claiming that it would be too much of a burden for Barack Obama to present his birth certificate to the court. Right within this document, it states, and I quote, protect a party from annoyance, embarrassment, oppression, or undue burden or expense. In other words, they're claiming that Barack Obama is being annoyed, embarrassed, oppressed, or being put under an undue burden or an expense by having to show his birth certificate to the court. Instead of producing his birth certificate, Barack Obama and the DNC go out and hire attorneys and now have attempted to put up another hurdle, another roadblock to the truth and claim that this is protecting Barack Obama from an expense. He hires a lawyer rather than show his birth certificate and claims that it would be more expensive for him to show his birth certificate than to hire lawyers who put up these additional hurdles. Does this make sense to anyone? It certainly should not. But this is exactly what Barack Obama 
and his faulty reasoning is doing. You want to elect a person to be President of the United States who doesn't have the common sense to know that it would be just as easy to produce his birth certificate rather than hiring a team of lawyers who now claim that it is an annoyance and an embarrassment for Barack Obama. The only thing that is going to be embarrassing for Obama is when the general public comes to the realization that Barack Obama is not qualified to be the President of the United States and that he has defrauded them out of more than $425 million in campaign contributions. In response to this, Philip Berg has come out again with another press release Monday afternoon, stating Berg is outraged that Obama and the DNC hide again behind legal issues as their attorney files a motion for protective order to not answer admissions and production of documents while betraying the public and not producing documents proving that Obama is qualified to be a candidate for president. It is believed that Obama is an illegal alien. Philip J. Berg, the attorney who filed the suit against Barack H. Obama challenging Senator Obama's lack of qualifications to serve as President of the United States announced today that Obama and the National Committee filed a joint motion for a protective order to stay discovery pending a decision to the motion to dismiss, which was filed on 924. While this is legal, Berg says that it is an outrage, as this is just simply another attempt to hide the truth from the public. It is obvious that the documents do not exist to prove that Obama is qualified to be president. Their joint motion indicates a concerted effort to avoid the truth by attempting to delay the judicial process, although this is legal, by not resolving the issue presented, that is, whether or not Barack Obama meets the qualifications to be president. It is obvious that Barack Obama was born in Kenya and he does not meet the qualifications to be President of the United States pursuant to our United States Constitution. Obama cannot produce a certified copy of his vault, original long version birth certificate from Hawaii because it does not exist. Think about what you're hearing. Rather than Barack Obama simply walk into the court and present a certified copy of his birth records, he has hired a team of lawyers that has put one hurdle up in front of the other now to try and prevent the truth coming out. And that truth is, is that he is not qualified to be the President of the United States because he is not a natural born citizen. Now the first portion of this video was produced prior to the election of 2008 in October 2008 and it is just as true today as it was back then. On April 27th, Barack Obama produced a PDF file, an image of his long-form birth certificate. But at this point, Congress has never held a hearing to determine whether or not Barack Obama is a natural-born citizen. Barack Obama has never presented his certified long-form birth certificate to a court of law to have it determined whether or not it is genuine or not. The media has half the country fooled into believing that the issue was not whether he was a natural born citizen, but simply whether or not he was born in Hawaii. The Constitution does not require our president to be born in Hawaii. It requires our president to be a natural born citizen, meaning someone that was born within our nation 
and born to two U.S. citizens. Our commander-in-chief cannot be a naturalized citizen, nor can he be someone that holds or was born holding foreign citizenship. If this long-form birth certificate does prove to be genuine, then it proves that Barack Obama was not a natural-born citizen, that he was born with dual citizenship, deriving U.S. citizenship from his mother and his birth in Hawaii, and deriving British citizenship from his foreign father from Kenya. This document has been looked at by many computer experts who have determined that it is a fraudulent document. Now, prior to its release, MSNBC interviewed Kayomi Fakino, the former director of health in Hawaii. She claims that she saw the original birth certificate bound in a book and that it was half typed and half hand written. She claims that she looked at the document twice. Look at the document on your screen. Is this half typed and half hand written? No, it is not. We also know that Neil Abercrombie, the present governor of Hawaii, right after he was sworn into office, vowed that he was going to find this long-form birth certificate and make it public. He then admitted to the press that all he could find were some handwritten notations somewhere in the state archives that claimed that Barack Obama was born there, but he could not find the birth certificate. So at this point, Barack Obama has yet to prove that he is even a U.S. citizen. Nothing has changed by the release of this document. Thanks for listening.